Hello there, friends and followers, and welcome to this live stream. This is Q8 Pilot, your host for today's show. And today we have something very special for Microsoft Flight Simulator, the MJ Honda Jet uh, by Marwan Gharib, uh, the developer of the aircraft. Uh, Marwan has provided me a copy of this uh, aircraft some time back for my feedback, and uh, I've written him. Uh, back uh, and I've uh, taken a look at the aircraft, provided my feedback, and he has made considerable progress uh, to the point where uh, I can showcase the aircraft now. Uh, I want to do. I, I want to thank him very much for providing me with a copy and uh, for also heeding uh, the advice that I provided him with. And he's really taken um, everything that I told him to heart uh, to uh, enhance the aircraft. And today we have this Honda Jet for Microsoft Flight Simulator. A pretty looking, you know, pretty strange looking jet, uh, if you ask me, uh, but nonetheless uh, quite um, quite advanced in, in what it does and in, in its systems. And let's uh, just spend a few minutes here taking a look at the uh, rendition of the aircraft for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I want to welcome Stephen, Mr. Venn, uh, Danny Roots, how are you doing? Uh, Michael Allen, hello, my friend. Welcome. All is well at my side. I hope everything is well at your side. <clears throat> if you want to join uh, Marwan's uh, uh, Discord, uh, which is the project, the Honda Jet project, uh, just type exclamation aircraft and you should be able to get the invitation link to join uh, the Discord uh, channel uh, for the project. Um, if you look at the 3D modeling here, as you can see, it's uh, it's really a very well modeled aircraft. And uh, I've uh, I watched a stream by a real Honda Jet uh, pilot uh, who has uh, provided uh, his commendations of the aircraft. So he's uh, really uh, given a lot of praise for this project and for what the developer has done. And uh, as you can see, if you look at the uh, official HondaJet uh, website, you will immediately notice the amount of work that uh, the developer has done here, just modeling the, uh, you know, modeling the engines and the texture work uh, and all the little details here uh, underneath the aircraft, uh, as you can see here, the landing gear area. Uh, again, use of PBR is quite nice. Uh, the aircraft is got that uh, shiny look uh, as if it's just uh, coming out of the factory uh, with the brand new paint. Yeah, looks pretty good. And the interior, just like the exterior, let's begin with the, uh, with the cockpit here. Uh, again, a beautifully modeled uh, 3D cockpit. Uh, as you can see here, nice uh, scratches uh, you know, on the, on the screens. Uh, pretty nice texture work, very high resolution, quite crisp, and uh, looks really, really good. Uh, he's really put in a lot of work to improve the textures and get them to this stage. And uh, you can see again the flight yoke, the flight instrument, the throttle. Um, very, very nice work. The interior uh, also, uh, I think if you look at the interior here, again, uh, really nice interior of the aircraft. And you've got the toilet there at the back. Uh, of course, uh, you know, a business jet has got to have one. And this one has it uh, modeled right there. As you can see here, very, very nice in terms of the uh, texture work. Uh, I think the developer has really put in a lot of effort to bring the aircraft to this state. Uh, so today what we're going to be doing, uh, we are going to be... Harun Rasul, how are you doing? Welcome, my friend. Love from Oman. Uh, welcome, my friend. Glad to have you with us today. Stan, hello, my friend. Greetings. Cheapskate Simmer, hello, my friend. How are you doing? McGee, Mr. Gee B. Hello, my friend. Welcome. How are you doing today? Golshan Kumar, hello, my friend, and welcome. So, in terms of the 3D model, in terms of the texture work, I would tell you guys, uh, this is spot on. I mean, this is exactly uh, what I have seen on the official Honda Jet website. Uh, in terms of whether it's the interior, whether it's the exterior, I think he has done just really a lovely job modeling the aircraft uh, all around. Uh, and it's kind of a strange looking airplane. 
uh, if you look at where the engines are, uh, I think it kind of looks uh, a bit strange. Chelmo, welcome to the Kuwait Pilot Channel, my friend. <clears throat> and we've got uh, Henry. Henry, how are you doing? Uh, Xenox 007, it's a preview. It, I guess it is a preview. Um, so um, the aircraft isn't released yet, and I have no information on the release date or whether it's going to be freeware or payware. The initial, um, the initial talk I had with the developer, uh, he has indicated that it's probably going to be freeware, but I'm not sure. But this qualifies as a payware aircraft. Uh, if you look at all the details and just really wonderful aircraft to fly, very, very enjoyable in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, again, folks, if you'd like more information and you want to interact with Madwan himself, the developer, just type in exclamation aircraft and you should get the uh, invitation link to the project Discord server uh, where you'll be able to get the latest uh, uh, information and the uh, work currently in progress uh, and you can also interact with the developer himself very nice guy uh, very down to earth Dougal McTavish welcome my friend and welcome so uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be flying today from Ronald Reagan Regional Airport in the US of A and we're going to be heading to LaGuardia it should be a nice approach into runway 04 and we're going to be performing an eyeless approach uh, today. So let's go ahead and uh, hop into the cockpit now and start the, uh, the aircraft and uh, put in our flight plan. I am using work and title for the G3000 today. Uh, it's a nice, uh, it's a little bit of clouds, uh, but nothing too serious. Uh, I think uh, things look pretty good today for our departure out of runway 01. And uh, if I look at uh, our flight plan here, uh, let's see here. All right, so if I go to the operational flight plan, uh, we are going to be cruising at uh, about 28,000 feet or so. And uh, everything here is looking good. And we're going to be carrying about uh, 1,500 pounds of fuel. Yeah, so we're going to be departing runway 01 today through the Dr. 5 departure through the Agar transition and then Corey, 5, Corey 4 uh, arrival into LaGuardia and runway 04. So without further ado, let's get things started. Now, I'm not very proficient, by the way, in flying the aircraft. Um, but nonetheless, uh, you know, I've watched a few videos uh, of the uh, real Honda Jet Captain. Uh, so we're going to begin with the battery. We're going to turn the battery here and we have external power available. So we're going to turn on the external power and voila, you see everything is here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, initialize the uh, uh, so crew profile, weight and balance and fuel. So we're going to start here and uh, let me see here if I can change things a bit. Yeah. All right. So we're going to, uh, this is the basic empty weight. So crew and uh, see here, LaGuardia. Yeah. All right. So basic empties, uh, operating weight, uh, crew plus uh, stores, uh, set empty weight. All right. Let's go to payload. And uh, we're going to be carrying today. Uh, according to our flight plan, uh, let me see here. Flight plan, passengers, uh, we're going to take three passengers and enter there. Uh, nice details. And for cargo, we are going to have about 300 pounds of cargo. Fuel today, we need uh, 1,500. So let's click here, fuel on board, 1,700, we'll say. Yeah, that should be good. And uh, takeoff. So we've got uh, the initialized uh, flight on board, fuel on board, uh, 1,700. Uh, that's the ramp weight. Taxi fuel, uh, that's, I think, enough. And uh, we can go to 
Um, let's see here. Go back. And if we look at the crew assert in pounds, basic operating weight, takeoff weight, a ramp weight, 9553. 9553. Enter that. We have the payload, we have the fuel, and we have the takeoff and landing. All right, let's say just get from sim and next. All right, now we have our uh, takeoff speeds. So we are just going to say get them all from the sim. And uh, am I, I don't think I see all on. Why am I not getting the takeoff speeds? Must be the working title, um, because I know. All right. Well, we can just put the uh, one one l. Let's say one one eight. And well, it might be there, but I can't see it. And uh, one one. No. Let's do one twenty. And V1 is at 118. Enter that. We're going to turn all of them on, and then we should get them somewhere here. Yep, we have V1, V rotate. Uh, V2 cannot be 118, so let's change V2. So we'll say 122. All right. That should be okay. Now we have it here, 122. All right, now we'll go back and we'll say accept initialization. And everything is now set. Why are things so bright here? Must be the time of day. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, Steve1927, hello, my friend. Yanis, hello there, my friend, and welcome. Brian, hello, my friend, and welcome. Glad to have you all with us. Uh, thank you guys for joining. Uh, all right, so we are going to go to our, um, our flight plan, and we're going to set the origin airport, which is uh, Kilo Delta Charlie Alpha which is Ronald Reagan Washington Regional Airport. And the destination uh, today is LaGuardia, LaGuardia, which is Kilo Lima Golf Alpha. LaGuardia Airport, selected. Uh, very, very nice work there uh, on the Garmin. I absolutely love it, working title. It enhances the, uh, the G3000. And uh, from LaGuardia, uh, we can say here, all right, so let's go back. We're going to go to the procedure. We're going to select our departure. The departure today is the Dr. 5 uh, through the Agard transition, runway 01. And we're going to load that. And then we're going to head back and we're going to select the arrival. The arrival into LaGuardia today is the Quarry 4 through the Agar transition, runway 04. Of course, we're gonna be performing an eyeless approach and we're gonna say load. And now we should have the flight plan uh, loaded there and we can decrease or actually zoom in a little bit to see our flight plan. Let's zoom just slightly more. There you go. And you have uh, some traffic there. So that's the SID out of uh, Washington, uh, Ronald Reagan, Washington Nat Regional Airport, and uh, we're going to be heading over to LaGuardia. The uh, altimeter is set to 3035, and uh, we're going to set the altitude to 28,000 feet for our flight today. Should be a nice short flight into LaGuardia. Right, that's a bit slower, but now let's just do it this way. Guy Boards, how are you doing, my friend? Welcome, Boeing Corp. Hello there. We have you from New Jersey. 
I believe the uh, the hot start uh, CL650 is now in your account, my friend. Boeing Corp it was uh, was the winner of our last giveaway. So congrats, and I hope that you uh, will have uh, immense fun with your uh, with your CL650. All righty. Uh, we have the altitude set. Uh, we are going to set the speed to uh, about 180, no, let's say 210 knots for the flight. There we go. I wish uh, there is a you know how in X-Plane we uh, select the knob and then we move the mouse and it just automatically sets it, uh, or it's, it's a lot faster. But here we have to kind of do it this way, which is okay. Takes a little bit of time. All right, two, one, five. Perfect. Mr. Don, hello there, my friend. I'm doing very well, thanks for asking. Okay. So we have now got the, uh, the altitude and the speed set. We're gonna come down here to the PFD settings and we're gonna set this to FMS. And we have that set. We have it set here as well to FMS. And while we're at it, we can go to the radios. Let me see if I can not sure why they said they look so all right we'll go to radios and uh, we're going to go to um, our destination airport uh, which is LaGuardia and we're going to note that the frequency for the ILS is 110.5 uh, 110.5 uh, is already set all right so it's already there nav 1 nav 2 nav 1 all right nav 1 is set Okay, perfect. All right, so starting actually the Honda is, is pretty simple and it's highly automated. So all the lights and everything, all of that, you, you will not see the light switches here. That's because the, uh, the everything is actually here. So if we go to, um, let's see here, where's my mouse? Not sure where my mouse is. Ah, there it is. Okay. So if we go back and we go back again and we go to aircraft systems and uh, we go to the system control, uh, we can open the doors, by the way, here, as you can see, and you can see the aircraft door, main door, and the baggage compartment uh, is open. Uh, so we are going to close those now. Just wanted to show you guys, but if we go to... Um, if we go to the exterior lights, as you can see here, all the lights are controlled from within the, uh, with the Garmin device here, taxi, landing, uh, uh, recognition light, ice inspection, everything is here. There are no switches. Everything is automated uh, on board the Honda Jet. Uh, so let's go back home and back here. And now we can go home and we will go to the flight plan. And this is the flight plan here. And yeah, all is ready to go now. Perfect. Blue Games, hello, my friend. Welcome. I'm doing very well. Uh, is this payware? Um, I actually don't know uh, Blue Games. Uh, the developer has given this to me to um, kind of give my comments and uh, help him with the development. And... Uh, the last conversation I had with him is that this is going to be freeware. Uh, I think personally it qualifies for, for uh, that it's going to be freeware, but I personally think it does qualify for uh, payware aircraft, if you ask me. Uh, and uh, it's still not released, but it should be released soon, and I believe it's going to be uh, a freeware uh, aircraft for the community to enjoy. But uh, don't quote me on that. I still don't know. Okay, so all is ready, folks, and we're good to go. 
We have uh, Senior Culture Shock. Greetings, my friend. I'm doing very, very well. You're most welcome, Blue Games, and thank you very much for stopping by, my friend. Um, all right, so we are good to go. We are going to start the aircraft, and starting the aircraft is actually pretty simple. Uh, if we just go to uh, the start button here, uh, there are a couple of start buttons for the left and right engine. And all you need to do really is uh, we're going to make sure the doors are closed, which they are. And we're going to click on the left start button here. And you'll see that the engine starts spooling now. And you just move the thrust lever to the idle position. And that's it. Engines are now starting. Perfect. So we have a good start on the left engine. Almost. Still spooling up, starting up. We'll wait for the engine to stabilize. And then we will turn the, uh, the right engine. Here's a... You can have a listen here. The engine sounds. All right, and now we can start the right engine. Again, we click start, wait for the engine to spool up, and at about 15 ITT is good. All right, let's go ahead and give it some fuel. And that's it. That's all it takes to uh, start this aircraft from its cold and dark state. Samuel, hello there from Johannesburg. Welcome, my friend. All right, I think we have a good start now on both engines. And you can see the, uh, the generators are at norm. So all is good there. And we can now turn on the cabin lights. All right, and we can select the your damper on. And uh, flight directors, flight directors are on. Alt select is selected, 28,000 feet. And let's see if we can get this safely to uh, LaGuardia. We are good to go, and we can release the parking brake. By the way, I believe this is the uh, this is the emergency brake. So parking brake is set and release is yield. You you pull to apply, and this is the alternate gear release and full to the uh, pull to fully release. This is not modeled, but this is modeled here. We're gonna set the flaps for takeoff and approach. There we go, flaps are set, and we can now release the parking brake, and we are good to go. If we look at the outside, you'll see that the nav lights are already on. All right, and let's go, let's give it some power. And off we go, and we are, ladies and gentlemen, heading to LaGuardia. We're going to bring back the yoke. So what do you guys think of this uh, aircraft so far? I think it is a gorgeous aircraft, and I wouldn't actually mind uh, paying for it.
Just look at that. You see how the uh, taxi lights are already on? I believe that's uh, our runway there. So everything is pretty much uh, automated. So as soon as we begin taxiing, you'll see the lights. Come on. All right, here we go. And uh, let's just make sure, where are we now? Yep, that's the one. That was a really fast taxi. All right, we are good to go now. And by the way, this airport is payware by Jaworski. <laughs> okay, we are good to go. And let's give it power. Not sure why I'm getting a warning there. Ah, I know why we're getting the warning. Uh, the pitos. All right, we'll just turn them on uh, in a minute here. Right, 120, and rotate. And off we go. And we're going to track the flaps. The pitos are um, let's worry about them in a little bit once we engage the uh, autopilot. Wow, look at this scenery, man. This is absolutely gorgeous. We can go to nav. It's a pretty powerful aircraft. All right, let's go ahead and turn on the autopilot. All right, our pilot is on. And we are going to go to flight change. And now the aircraft should accelerate. We're going to keep it at uh, about 250 knots and continue our climb. We can increase the range here a bit. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, just uh, this is normal. This is okay. Uh, windshield heat is normal. Um, all of this stuff is okay. Ice protection is good. Engine anti-ice. Uh... Ah, the caution message we got was for the transponder. So if we go here and we turn this on, then we should be good. 
that's the reason why we got the uh, the caution as we uh, uh, as we took off uh, from uh, from Ronald Reagan. All right, let's see here. Why is this not? Is there a restriction here? Let's uh, check our flight plan. Uh, flight plan. No, there shouldn't be. Let's do one thing. Um, flight change. Ah, there we go. Should be climbing at a faster rate than this. I'll tell you what. Um, We can do that, and we are just going to do vertical speed. And yeah, I think that's much better. Um, we're going to go to 1300 feet per minute. All right. You need to select a lower speed. Uh, probably. Uh, let's see here. We're going to go to... 220. How about that? Well, thanks for the tip. Yeah, that works. Yeah, thanks for the tip. That uh, that works uh, perfectly well. Um, yeah, so I think we're good. Uh, we're climbing at about 14, uh, 1,400 feet per minute or so. Uh, we can reduce the speed a little more, uh, maybe to right there. Perfect. All right, let's take a look at the outside. Looks like the... Uh, that's one of the things I don't like about Microsoft Flight Simulator is when I'm streaming, um, it's very difficult to, you know, you get this blurred textures uh, because of the, uh, not far in the distance, but closer to the aircraft, as you can see here. It is definitely a good uh, looking jet. Um, flight level change is a function of speed, not thrust. The thrust will stay constant in this mode. And the plane, uh, well, thank you very much for that, Noah. Really appreciate it. And we're approaching 10,000 feet. Now, by the way, the aircraft at 10,000 feet will, as you can see right before 10,000, it just turned off the landing lights you can see that the strobes are on and we haven't really done anything uh, so all of the the function of lights uh, aboard the Honda jet is automated so you don't really have to do anything you don't have to turn strobes off or taxi lights anything the aircraft just knows that you're taxiing and will turn the uh, taxi lights on it knows that you're taking off it will turn on the landing lights and the strobes and so on and so forth what a beautiful looking uh, aircraft and a beautiful looking scene in Microsoft Flight Simulator here ladies and gentlemen the Honda Jet by Marwan Gharib beautiful looking aircraft really and very well modeled by the developer the 
think we can... Look down a bit more here. Just climb a bit faster. Let me take a look at our flight plan here. Uh, we are looking good, so we'll just climb steadily. Just look at this uh, scene right here, the clouds. They look absolutely fantastic. And by the way, this aircraft uh, is a uh, has ice uh, ice detection so in icing condition it will tell you that it needs the anti-ice to go on and uh, yeah you'll we'll get a, a message here that says uh, you know icing condition detected and that we need to uh, turn on the anti-ice equipment I think they did uh, add the seasons. I, uh, as you can see here, we are getting some messages here uh, of the icing. Uh, so we're going to turn on the uh, the icing equipment here. Wing, uh, normal, engine anti-ice is on, tail uh, de-ice is on, and uh, we should be fine now as you move through the clouds the anti-ice equipment should be turned on. What does it say here? Transponder mode. All right, let's go to transponder is on. So what does it want? We can put it on TA only. All right, that's fine. Just look at this scene, folks. This looks gorgeous. Screenshot material for sure. Very, very nice. They did add snow. I think overall, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, in terms of the look and feel, uh, I think it looks fabulous, uh, really. I, it, it's got everything right in terms of how things look, in terms of the clouds, the water, uh, the water waves, and when there are, for example, thunderstorms, the, the, the water waves are just epic, uh, simply outstanding stuff. And today I was actually working on a video for Pilot Plus. They provided me graciously with a copy of their Oxford, London Oxford Airport. And let me tell you, it is absolutely phenomenal airport. And uh, right off the bat, I'll tell you that I highly recommend it. Uh, obviously they had access to the, uh, the airport management team and they allowed them to actually go into the uh, into the tower and into just the entire airport and probably take pictures to create a very authentic rendition uh, Echo Gulf Tango Kilo is London Oxford Airport beautiful uh, airport one of the very best I have seen uh, I will be posting the uh, the video uh, pretty soon but uh, just heads up for you guys if you're looking for a nice airport in the UK uh, it is just, wow, mind-blowing. The amount of details is mind-blowing. No, a friend of Crosswind, this aircraft. Probably not. Flex GM if you get a... Uh, sure, Dougal. Let's see here. Um, all right. Uh, yes, uh, Dougal, you may do so. Please go ahead and drop that link. Uh, no worries at all. Yeah, so, and the aircraft is confirmed as freeware to avoid licensing issues with Honda. Thanks for the info, uh, Dougal. Thank you very much for the info, and you may, uh, you may post the link, uh, uh, to the flight tomorrow and we'll say a few words uh, once you do so just look at this scene folks this is epic now one of the things I do like uh, about uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator and uh, 
and X-Plane, similar to X-Plane, is the fact that you are, you know, able to, the, the developer community is able to develop for, for the platform. And uh, that is something I really like in both sims, is the ability to, you know, develop freely. So the community is quite active and they develop a lot of uh, aircrafts, uh, a lot of utilities, uh, a lot of scenery uh, free of charge, uh, which, is, uh, which is really good and uh, very commendable. Um, right, we're still quite away from the top of climb. We should be there soon. You know what? I'm going to go to vertical speed. And we're going to go up at about 1500 feet per minute. We're going to give it a little more power. Keep it at 220. That should help us uh, expedite our climb to uh, 28,000 feet. Lovely aircraft. And uh, yeah, everything is quite modeled uh, with the highest quality. I love this detailed work. I mean, if you look at all the edges and you look at all the curvatures, uh, just outstanding work uh, by Marwan Gharib, the developer of uh, the aircraft. By the way, you can you can see here, uh, you can uh, again. This is very accurate uh, and very indigenous to the Honda jet, according to an account of a real-world Honda jet pilot. You can see now the exterior lights it says taxi landing. Uh, re re recognition and ice lights are all off. Strobes, beacon, and nav are turned on, and we didn't do anything. So it's it's fully automated on board this aircraft, which is really really cool. Uh, I I don't know much about the aircraft, uh, to be honest. Uh, bear a reference set to standard. Um, uh, I haven't. I, I've read a little bit about it uh, on the Honda Jet website, uh, but it's uh, it's such a peculiar aircraft and uh, I'm very glad that uh, you know someone is paying attention to uh, you know to those aircraft and I can't also wait for the A380 by fly-by-wire uh, the same guys that are working on the Airbus BD 47 where can I download this plane um, it's not released yet um, Dougal, please join Q8 Pilot and myself on the SPAG Oz Memorial Group flight in Microsoft Flight Simulator tomorrow at 900 Zulu on Twitch. And the link is provided there. So, guys, tomorrow we are paying respect to a fellow flight simmer who has left us. And... Uh, he was a, uh, a gem of a person, a person who has contributed a lot to the flight sim community. And so I would be personally very grateful and very thankful uh, if you are able to make it to pay respect uh, to a fellow flight simmer. Uh, the information is available also on uh, Pilot Peely's Discord. Uh, Dougal, you're more than welcome to post the link to Pilot Peely's Discord for those who uh, like to join uh, the, uh, the channel. Uh, I, I mean, it's, it's, you're, you're free to do so if you wish to do so. Uh, does it compare to the Phenom by Arabesque? Well, they're completely two different aircraft, so I don't know uh, how does it compare to, um, to the Phenom. Uh, they're very different aircraft and here is one once more a look at the outside look at that it's beautiful
Pilot A340. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Glad to have you with us. JV, welcome. <clears throat> 23, 5,000 to go. We are looking good. We're slightly below, uh, but we're fine. And by the way, top of descent is not too far from from where we are now. So here's what we'll do. We are going to increase our rate of climb and give it more power. Hold the speed. Four thousand feet to go. Perfect. By the way, we're flying today in uh, real time and real weather. Not sure about this aircraft's uh, climb performance. Um, the Honda Jet is made in uh, Greensboro. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know that. Thanks for the info. Well, I'll tell you, I'm sure that whatever performance, uh, in terms of performance uh, data and whether it's true to its real world counterpart, I think, um, guys, uh, I've watched the stream from 737 Aviation. 737 Aviation. Uh, he's a real world Honda Jet pilot. Please visit his channel and uh, he's got a couple of really nice uh, streams on the aircraft. Uh, Stionalo, the Honda Jet will be freeware. It is a freeware, confirmed freeware aircraft uh, for Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's not yet released, uh, but it is going to be freeware and uh, we are now approaching our cruise altitude of 28,000 feet and soon after we're going to actually begin the descent so let's go ahead and take a quick look and by the way we can uh, have charts there as well but uh, let me bring up uh, navigraph and we're going to go to laguardia and we are going to select our approach into laguardia let's see here all right Uh, approach runway zero four and the platform altitude at LaGuardia is seventeen hundred feet. Let's not get carried carried away with the speed there. All right. And top of descent is in just a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, reset the MCP altitude and uh, let's see here. We're going to go here and we're going to set this to 1700. Oh, come on. Let's see here, 1,700 feet, almost there. All right, 1,700 feet, perfect. All right, we are just about to begin our descent now, and uh, there you have it, look at that. Beautiful aircraft. By the way, guys, I just posted a poll at the community tab uh, for our next flight. So please do let me know what is it that you'd like to see next. Uh, there is a choice of aircraft. By the way, I've done a uh, flight uh, yesterday 
uh, on the Airfoil Labs uh, 172NG by Airfoil Labs. And let me tell you, I absolutely adore the aircraft. It, it is uh, it is something I can relate to because I've flown 172s uh, back then when I was uh, in the States. So I can definitely relate a lot to it. And it just feels like a real aircraft. Uh, the, the, uh, the fluidity of the aircraft feels like a real aircraft. And... Uh, Demi, uh, Demigus, is it Demigus? Greetings, my friend. Welcome. Glad to have you here with us. Hayden Supra. Hello, my friend. It was, uh, it was saving the view, but not the zoom. I had set, I'm not sure I follow you there. All right, we are now, ladies and gentlemen, at the top of descent. I'm going to try and use... Ah, VNAV is not uh, modeled, so we're going to fly ch flight change. And flight change is going to descent. Now, it's not doing what it's supposed to do. I'm going to go to vertical speed once more. Uh, vertical speed. And we're going to descend at about... 1,200 feet per minute. I'm going to recharge the throttle here. And I'm going to set the speed to about 210 knots. Leave it there. All right, we've begun our descent now into, uh, into LaGuardia. By the way, the speed brake aboard the Honda Jet is right here. So this is the speed brake. And if we deploy it, you can see now the speed is dropping. And this is what it looks like. And the outside, I don't think you can see anything in the outside. Oh, come on. Don't give me that saying something about the bandwidth. Let me just make sure that we uh, data. Now, uh, fine, everything's turned on. Resume. All right, so you can see the, uh, far in the distance, you can see the snow. Uh, so seasons are kind of modeled in, uh, in Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, but not everything is modeled. Uh, what is it complaining about? Engine oil pressure low. Oh boy. Fuel reserve low. Really? We don't have sufficient fuel? Oh. The engine died. Oh boy. Let's try to start the engine again. We do have very little fuel left. That's that wasn't expected at all. Um, let's see here. All right, let's see if we can add fuel wire will on board uh, no I guess we can't we have very little fuel left but hopefully we'll be able to make it Got to watch our speed here. Wow. I don't know why it won't save the custom view zoom. It's frustrating the life out of me. Uh, uh, 
Oops, time for some procedure reading. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, according to the, uh, according to SimBrief, that's how much fuel we wanted. And uh, it even gave me a much higher uh, cruise altitude. Um, but I think, I think we should be okay. Um, we'll see, we're not too far from, uh, we're not too far from, from our destination now. Uh, but we probably didn't account for any uh, any extra fuel, so hopefully we'll be fine. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go uh, to the radios, and cabin power is off. All right, we'll leave it off. Uh, I'm going to go to the radios, and uh, let's see here. Co-pilot. Pilot, no home. Um, speed bugs, audio and radio, I can't access anything here, huh, that's strange, man, some of the things that happen on stream is just, I just don't get it sometimes. See, now you go here and now you don't see, you don't see the radios. Procedure, charts. All right, we're gonna go to procedure. Uh, this is our arrival. Uh, back, approach. Uh, that is not the correct transmission. Let's go back. Um, home. That's the one. No, that's the departure. Back. Approach. Load, activate, all right, now for some reason I'm unable to go back to my radios Is my nav radio? Oh boy. Speed bugs, charts, procedures, flight plan. VNAV is enabled. Uh, we did not enter this information here. But I'm not sure why we're unable to access. Ah, hang on a second. Ah, there we go. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to change uh, this to 110.5. And enter uh, just to make sure. And I'm going to change the 110.5 for NAV2 as well. All right. I just can't see which one is active. Uh, it looks like NAV1 is active. All right. Here we go. All right, 18,000 feet, transition altitude, and we're going to set barrel reference to 3030. 
And we're almost there now, folks. We are at 18,000 feet and we are still looking good. We might need to descend a little faster. So let's go ahead and increase the rate of descent to 1,600 feet. Beautiful looking aircraft. And I just love the sky color in Microsoft Flight Simulator. <clears throat> Mud One, hello, my friend, welcome. Yeah, thanks for that. Uh, I wasn't uh, able to, uh, to see the scroll, uh, uh, the scroll panel, so. Yeah, thanks for that. Appreciate it. And glad you're with us. Beautiful aircraft and uh, really uh, something to look forward to. Uh, I think uh, everyone agrees that uh, this is going to be uh, one of probably the most enjoyable uh, freeware for uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, yeah, the second I, try, I have gave 2020, I don't see me spending or swapping it uh, to my main sim anytime soon. The UI is a joke and binding stuff makes it worse. I never thought any uh, problem. Uh, guys, uh, we have with us today uh, Marwan Gharib, the developer of the Honda Jet. Uh, welcome Marwan to the stream. Thank you for your excellent work, and thanks for uh, taking the time to join us. Um, really wonderful aircraft, Marwan, and uh, really thank you for uh, your efforts uh, creating this aircraft for the community. And uh, folks, uh, you have Marwan here. If you have any questions uh, you'd like to ask him, he's right here uh, with us in chat. Uh, you may go ahead and ask him any questions. Uh, and uh, I'm sure that he will gladly answer them. As a reminder, folks, to support the project, please type exclamation aircraft and you will get the Discord server uh, of the MJ Honda Jet project uh, where you can uh, follow the latest news uh, on the aircraft. All right, let's go ahead and reduce our speed here. Deepak, hello, love from India, love from Kuwait to you, my friend, Mystic White T. Does this aircraft have VNAV uh, AT? Uh, it does have VNAV. I'm not sure it, that it's uh, completely programmed yet. Uh, it is there. Uh, let's go to flight plan here just to make sure where we are. All right, so we are almost there, folks. We're going to retard the power here. And hello, LaGuardia. Yeah, we're a bit too high, I think. So let me go ahead and increase our rate of descent. I'm gonna recharge the throttle. And we're gonna go to 180. There we go. 10,000 feet and below 10,000 feet, again, automatically the aircraft would uh, extend the lights. We're gonna just uh, put in the speed brakes here and reduce speed. There we go. All right, so we're now uh, below 10,000 feet. If we look uh, here, the lights should come on. 
Man, this aircraft looks beautiful. Very, very elegant looking aircraft. And ladies and gentlemen, we are now passing by the Statue of Liberty right there. And uh, this is New York City. Uh, yeah, it's a fuel page. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, utilities. Uh, is it here? So is this uh, what you're looking for, Marwan? Uh, weight and balance. Fuel. So that's what we've done there. I think we're descending too fast now. So we're going to reduce the rate of descent to about 1,300 feet per minute. And we're going to go to, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Approach, uh, nav, and let's see, where is it? Approach. Uh, just give me a second. Let me land and uh, the aircraft, uh, the aircraft system page. Aircraft system page. I think let's just land it. <laughs> I think we're a bit too high, so we might need to uh, make a go around and come back uh, because I believe that's the runway ahead of us. So what we're going to do is we are going to disengage the autopilot and we're going to make a turn and come back to land. So that's, uh, yeah, definitely we can't land uh, right now. So uh, we're just going to descent and come back. We're going to, all right, let me disconnect the autopilot here. Uh, it was my bad. Uh, let's see here. Where's the autopilot? Autopilot off. And we're just going to hand fly the aircraft now and have some fun with it. And we're going to head back uh, to the, uh, the airport and land manually. By the way, uh, the, the aircraft captures the ILS just fine with no issues whatsoever. Uh, but I think we were a bit too high. So we are just going to steer off our current heading. And we're going to make a turn reduce our altitude to 1700 and head back over to the airport to land the aircraft Man, you gotta love the view of this aircraft. Beautiful. We're just going to give ourselves a little bit of, uh, you can see now the, uh, the airport is exactly behind us now.
And I think we can now make the turn back to the airport. Beautiful uh, scenery here of New York City. All right, let's reduce the speed. And by the way, if we click on the autopilot and on the approach button and go to heading. Heading. All right, approach flaps is set. Let's lower the landing gear. Three greens, we're good. There we go. I see the glide slope needle. The aircraft needs a little more power. All right, and what we can do is you know what, let's just disconnect the autopilot. And there is the runway in sight. Ooh, bit shaky there. We're a bit uh, too high. Let's reduce our speed. We're gonna land at about 125 knots. And let's see here, we're gonna Still a bit too high, but we can correct that. Reduce our speed. And we now have the runway in sight. So yeah, the initial approach uh, wasn't... Uh, wasn't stable. We were too high. We had to go around and come back to land. Moody Trucker, welcome to the Q8 Pilot channel, my friend. Glad to have you with us. And flaps full. A little bit of uh, wind there as uh, we come into land. We're too slow. Speed, we need a little more power. Definitely some crosswind there. Ooh, what is this guy doing? And welcome to LaGuardia. A bit shaky on the landing. Um, but we did about a hundred and a hundred and seventy FPM, which is okay.
It's a busy airport, you have to share, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Wow. Wow. I have to say wow to that. Beautiful, beautiful work on this aircraft, really. Right, we can retract the flaps. It's definitely an amazing aircraft. So we got a, one of the engines uh, kind of failed uh, during flight. Uh, I'm not sure why we had low pressure. We restarted the engine. Looks like fuel wasn't, we, we didn't have sufficient fuel, but now that we've landed, looks like we've had sufficient fuel. Um, but maybe I've done something wrong or maybe there is a bug, I don't know. But let's bring the aircraft to a halt right here. All right, and parking brake is set. Now, the minute you actually hit the parking brake, it, it turns off the taxi light, which is cool. Um, all right, so we can come back here. We're gonna turn off the... All right, what do we want it to do? Where's the aircraft? Uh, so this is the electrical page. Uh, if we go to PFD settings, uh, altitude, other PFD settings, uh, wind. Oh, you can change this here. That's cool. We can put this to auto, on or auto. And uh, CAS up and down. Uh, traffic. All right. If we go to um, here, home and we go to the aircraft systems and now we can go to the fuel page so this this is i guess what uh what marwan was asking for so it looks like we've had 310 pounds for uh forever maybe not i'm not sure but uh we ended up with the uh with the right uh with the right amount of fuel so we landed here at laguardia and 1700 pounds of fuel uh, were indeed sufficient uh, for the flight. By the way, all of these pages are modeled correctly, uh, again, to an account uh, of a real Honda jet pilot. And if we go to, for example, uh, the electrical system, the electrical system functions exactly like it does in real life. So uh, we can turn on the flight director caution. We can remove that. So I think there is a lot of work that has gone into this aircraft. Hi, Osama. It's in the right TSC home aircraft systems. Yeah, thanks, Marwan. I hope that you were able to uh, find out whatever you wanted to find out. Uh, total used 570, and we have 870 left. So that's about a little less than what we put in initially. Um, yeah, so that's... Uh, and then, of course, you've got the eyes protection. Uh, you've got the hydraulics. Again, everything is, is uh, simulated as it is. It's real uh, to the, the real world counterpart. So great work uh, really by the developer uh, in realizing the aircraft systems. Uh, you can go to the status page. This is the page we had. Now you can see the beacon is still on, nav still on, strobes and uh, everything else is turned off again it's automatic we didn't have to really do anything environment uh, again you can take a look here environmental cockpit the oxygen cabin uh, the fan speed uh, all that good stuff uh, the duct temperature all of that is is simulated which is uh, really great stuff really great stuff uh, so the honda jet will always burn from the center tank 
so more or less the engine tanks will keep their levels until centering oh that's that's good to know thanks for that Marwan. appreciate it so definitely guys uh this aircraft by the way you can this is for setting the brakes uh here so right there all right uh, so the parking brake is now turned on and if you want to kill the engines you can simply uh, i think this is still in start but we just bring those down and that's it the aircraft is uh, turned off engines are turned off as you can see now the sounds are pretty nice too and obviously we can come down here and turn off the generator we can turn on external power if we want and turn off the battery and that would just uh, kill the aircraft but once before we do that uh, let's ignore that uh, we can come to system control and open the door and now we can turn this off and we go back to the same cold and dark state that we started at at ronald reagan uh, international airport i really enjoyed hand flying this aircraft during the final leg uh, and uh, this was uh, really can you update iraq uh, i think it reads from uh, from microsoft flight simulator if i'm not mistaken because we're using the uh, working title garmin uh, 3000 so whatever AROC database is available in Microsoft's uh, Flight Simulator will be used by this aircraft. Um, overall, I am very pleased with how this aircraft is modeled. It looks good, it feels good, it flies really good, and uh, it's very well modeled. Uh, I mean, everything is just really uh, done to a very high standard by, uh, by the developer and uh, it's uh, something i have a lot of appreciation for and this is ladies and gentlemen freeware just look at that look at that beauty of an aircraft beautiful texture work yeah, i mean payware material totally freeware for the community to enjoy and by the way this is uh, this is something that was created from scratch so this is not like a you know a jumbo jet that was turned into a triple seven or anything like that this was built um, from the ground up and uh, definitely a lot of work has gone into this and uh, you know uh, my absolute commendation to Marwan for this beautiful work and yeah I think this is it for our stream today folks and uh, let's see here we can go up here and look at the beautiful city of New York right there see that just absolutely gorgeous breathtaking view of uh, the city of new york here from laguardia and uh yeah i want to thank you guys very much for uh for being with me tonight uh it's been real fun yeah it's got a gpu as well for sure and uh, i want to thank you all for being here i will see you all tomorrow at 1900 Zulu, uh, paying the we're going to be doing the memorial group flight, and uh, the flight plan and all that information is available. Um, this aircraft Dougal definitely gets the Q8 pilot seal of approval, and it is, in my view, uh, along with the Vertigo uh, aircraft, are the two probably the best freeware add-on available for Microsoft Flight Simulator to date. Uh, I haven't seen anything better than uh, than this. Uh, the A320, of course, the fly-by-wire project is, uh, is, uh, is great, uh, but it's based again on the A320neo. Uh, so they made it, it's kind of like the Zebo, but this is, this is really great work. And uh, my absolute commendations uh, to you, Marwan, and uh, guys, again, uh, if you want more information on the MJ Honda Jet project type exclamation aircraft, you will get the link to the Discord server where you can uh, join the developer and also follow the latest news uh, and the development of the Honda Jet 
for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Thank you very much all for being here tonight. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for tuning in, and bye-bye for now.